Hello, everybody. Hello, Post University Esports fans. Warren Jungle God Hammond here, bringing you a very exciting match tonight. This is going to be your Post University Eagles up against Mary Mac College, who is uh, the only other team right now, I believe, in ECAC, uh, sporting that 2-0 and zero record. So this game going to mean a lot for both of these squads. <clears throat> so... Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start things off on Lee Jong Tower uh, Control Center, it appears. Actually, hold on. We're going to double check that it actually is because the... Yeah, there we go. The Observer's been a little bit funky recently, so got to double check. Um... But, got your university, uh, post-university squad ready to go. multi of course, back on the ram. Great choice uh, here for this um, uh, this map in particular. You're definitely going to want to go Brawly here. This is interesting. DJ Alex is starting off on the D.Va, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how this pairs, especially on a map which is just so well known for kind of its brawling capabilities. Vera throws out the wall. Um, doesn't really get anybody, but right now I really like Post University's uh, positioning. They're going to have a great opportunity to kind of push to the point, but they might have to wait for multi to kind of get back some of their health, some of their resources here. So this Lucio could be punished. Yeah, Sunday does go down, so great um, work right there by Post University. Drop down onto the point almost immediately. Shiro goes down. Sodium level popping off absolutely in a huge way, and that is going to be your Post University Eagles really playing this very, very intelligently, playing it exactly how you want to play <clears throat> um, this point with the Brawl composition, right? Utilize that high ground, stage from there, and then when you do have to drop to the point, that's when you go. And now we're seeing them push forward pretty aggressively as well. Hat comes in on the Vero, but she's going to be able to shake it off pretty decently. Uh, that Sombra jumps in pretty far, so they might be able to punish uh, some of this kind of over-aggression. Multicow looking to try and keep this D.Va in front of them. Able to get the D.Mech as well. That's going to be absolutely massive. Even if they don't get another kill here, that's going to severely delay uh, this uh, Mary Max squad from kind of getting back to the point, getting back into the fight. Let's take a look now at ultimates because uh, this Kitsune rush coming in from both Jojo and Shiro could be big. I'm expecting those to be used right at the beginning. Sodium does have the sound barrier in case they need it. Uh, in case, you know, this... Um, uh, in case this... Uh, Sojourn ult comes in. Here we go. We have... Uh, it's a uh, nice blizzard coming in. Might not catch anybody, but it's certainly going to zone. Self-destruct coming in. Looks like everybody... No, Jojo isn't quite able to get out of the way of it. So that's a big pick coming in now for Mary Mac at college. We can see that Sombra starting to post up on the high ground. But it's going to be a Shiro dropped this time, too. Pearl goes out. The DMAC comes in as well. What looked like a really solid attempt here. Really solid case for retaking the point for Mary Mac College is just kind of fizzled. Great recovery. Great Heads of plays coming out from your post university eagles to kind of keep that from happening. Can they get this stagger on the Lucio? Because that would be absolutely massive. Doesn't look like it's going to happen this time. But now just got to wait for post university to regroup. Big ultimate we're watching for here is going to be multi kills. Torreira going to go in and throw theirs in, see if they can delay people getting to the point. Still looking for one more. Beautifully placed uh, mortars right there, but sodium goes down. EMP comes in. That could be absolutely massive as Torreira meets their demise as well. Multicale probably going to want to hold on to this unless it looks like he can kind of turn things around. He is able to get one kill right here, holding on. Actually make that too. That's going to be pretty big, even though Post University is going to have to kind of regroup right here and try again. They got some fantastic value out of that fight. Now on this retake, Torreira has decided to opt for the Cassie, and I think this is kind of in response to Pearl Skates on the Sombra, right? They're going to be able to kind of duel them a little bit better and be also be a little bit less susceptible to some of the damage that they're going to have coming in. Big thing Post University has to watch out for is going to be uh, this Sojourn. You can see multi -Kill already trying to kind of check for that Sombra, make sure they're not anywhere uh, that's going to cause them problems. Post University just has to win this one fight. Vera has the Blizzard as well. They could probably use that in combination. Suzu has to be used. So, unfortunately, they're not going to have that in case something big happens here. But May has to use their Ice Block. Multi-Kill drops down to the point. Hack comes in. Sound Barrier is there even before the Ultimates are used by Post University. So, this could be big. Multi-Kill really playing kind of the patient game here. 
Gonna go ahead and pop that ultimate now, though, as they smell blood in the water. All of that um, extra health has gone down. Big EMP, though. It's gonna be a two for two coming in, or rather self-destruct. Uh, it looks like D.Va taking a lot of damage. They're gonna be demacked here at the last moment. The picks come in. Torero is down. Looking for the Sombra right here. Gonna go down to about three quarters damage. Try to be chased out pretty hard right now. Nice focus fire there. Jiro comes in with the Katsune rush, but they're being punched into oblivion by multi -Kill. The focus fire there from Multi has been absolutely fantastic. The aim, spot on. Certainly glad to have that buff to the um, bullet size. Definitely taking advantage of that. Lady MP comes in trying to save this point, trying to save this fight, but they're not quite gonna be able to do it. Suppose University flips the point. Uh, is Lucio gonna be able to touch? They're pushing for it. They try for it, but they don't find it in the end. What a first map. That was some fantastic Overwatch. That was all, that was just like non-stop action practically the entire time. And Post University did such a good job controlling and maintaining that point through so many fights, getting it to 99, and then playing to win at the end instead of necessarily, like playing to win the sub-map instead of playing to win the fight, right? You saw Multicall and Vero being very, very patient. They let Mary Mac kind of panic a little bit, start throwing out their own ultimates, right? Uh, Sunday threw out that sound barrier just a little bit early, and that might have cost them the map right there. That plus the patience that we saw coming out from post. So let's see if they can pull it off again. Vero has the TP, so we're gonna get that uh, teleport right to point. And looks like not quite the same idea, but a very quick um, composition once again. Suzu has to be used, but Jojo tries to drop out. He's going to be picked off, so it's a one-for-one one trade. That's one uh, support down for each squad, but Lucy's going to be back a lot quicker, potentially, um, than Jojo. Jojo has just respawned. As we can see, Lucy is already back on the voice. Point nice, focus fair. Big Suzu coming out there from Shira, but they're going to be taken down. Gur does find... Uh, it's Marshall. In fact, Sodium level getting in on the action as well. Here comes Jojo back in to provide that little bit of extra healing, that little extra security right there at the end of the fight. Lucio tries to touch here to kind of keep the point going, but it's now kind of got themselves in a bad position. They're doing a little bit of a dueling duel here with Torero. Who's actually gone over to the Reaper now. That's going to be problematic for this D.Va, right? If Torero is able to get in kind of close and just you know, kind of melt through some of that HP, force this diva to use her defense matrix, then they can find a lot of value. That's going to be a big hack, though. multi -Kill goes down from Sunday. So now Post University needs to just try and stagger this off as long as they can. Torero backs up just a little bit to try and get some of that health back. Finds Luzio, who maybe overextends just a little bit. Hack comes in on the sodium level as well. But Post University doing a good job kind of hanging on here. Maybe a premature death blossom right there as Jojo does go down as well. But the big thing is Torero is still alive. We're still getting percentage captured here for Post University, but it looks like this might be about where it's going to end. They do pull out the Kitsune Rush, which is huge. So Post University has to be feeling good about that because that's going to be a big ultimate that uh, Mary Mac doesn't have available to them for this next fight. Of course, the big one they are going to have to look out for is going to be Pearl Skate's uh, EMP. And Pearl, I think, has found a really good footing here on this Sombra. I think that was a nice swap that we saw. I forget what they started on, uh, but it's certainly been causing some problems here. In addition, uh, Sparshall with this Bob could be a pretty big deal, especially uh, if Multikill kind of overcommits, right? Doesn't have all of their defensive utility ready to go. Also, Jojo really going to wait to make sure that they hold on to that. Multikill goes ahead and uses their ultimate. Here comes the sound barrier now from Sunday to try and hold off some of that damage. Post University gets the point, so that's absolutely huge uh, for them. We can see Diva diving back in, trying to get it back under their control, but maybe goes a little bit too far. Going to be d as well, and focus down. So, a little bit of overaggression coming from that tank might have just now not only cost Merrimack the point, but also the fight. So, Post University going to be able to reset, but again, uh, we have a couple of uh, several ultimates that we really need to watch out for if we're Post University. So... In particular, I am looking at Pearl Skates with this uh, EMP, but Multical able to get Sunday down. Here comes that EMP on the back of the bomb, and Lucio goes down. Great focus fire coming out there from Pearl. Uh, DJ Alex trying to get something going here. They do find a couple of picks, but they're going to be d -mac. Self-destruct on point, though. They might be able to find something. Oh, what a big re kill. 
Vera, the unfortunate recipient of that hardware dropping from the sky. So, big plays coming out. It cost Mary Mac all three of their ultimates, though. So, now Post University gonna have to find a way to, uh, or rather, Mary Mac University gonna have to find a way to stall long enough for Shiro to get that Kitsune Rush, because that's really kind of what they're banking their hopes on for holding this round. Post University needs to make sure that they play this really, really uh, careful, really, really well. That's going to be a big, um, huge uh, Death Blossom. Doesn't quite work out, but the DMAC does come in. We do have the Kasuni Rush on point now from JoJo, but it's still going to be a 5v4 here for Post University. They've almost recaptured the point once again. In fact, they have, so that's going to buy them time, even if they don't win this fight. DJ tries to go in for the rematch kill again. JoJo unfortunately caught out, unable to find anything that time. Sodium level deciding whether or not to use that sound barrier, and I think they're probably going to hold it because, yeah, Mary Mac did a phenomenal job of kind of weathering this storm that Post University threw their way. So, huge value coming in. If Terrera could get out, nope, not quite. And they should be able to uh, regroup a little bit quicker, but instead, Post University is going to find themselves in a tough position now. Multical is going to be the one that they need to find the ultimate for, but Sunday's getting very close to that sound barrier as well. Sodium level has there, so this EMP, as long as sodium doesn't get caught in it, could uh, be mitigated by Post University. So definitely anticipate Pearl Skates really looking for an opportunity to get that EMP on to the Lucio as well, because if they've been ult tracking, they know that it's just about ready to come here. So, oh, big uh, TP into the back line, but JoJo might get caught out. Sunday goes down. Actually, they're not able to follow up. Here comes the EMP, but Shiro's already found their demise. Big ult coming out from Multical, and the post-university Eagles find a way to take both the first two sub-maps here on Li Zhang Tower and put themselves up one to zero. And Sodium coming in with a big play of the game here. Let's see what our Lucio did. Oh, beautiful boop back in. Huge sound barrier right on that EMP. That is exactly what they were looking for. Massive boops come in as well. Uh, love to see it. So uh, we are going to get that next map loaded up here. But I loved what I saw. Uh, from everybody uh, both squads this is gonna be an exciting match um, you know I, I would not be surprised if we go a full five uh, so let's take a look now and see where Mary Mac is gonna decide to take us next um, and I think if there's a way for Mary Mac to kind of pull post university off of this brawl composition um, or at least find a map that's going to be a little bit more difficult for the Brawl composition to play, then Mary Mac could probably find some more success because that was a very... Both of those sub-maps were very, very close. Post-University, again, I want to talk about this. One of the strengths that I really feel like they have this season is... Um, uh, one of their strengths has been winning first fights. And that's n m more important... Uh, it's It's most important when you look at a control map like we just saw, right? Because typically when you win that first um, fight, you are vastly more likely to go ahead and win the entire round. And that's definitely, I think, what we saw here from post-university. So now as we move into a different um, map type, that kind of advantage I think is going to be mitigated just a little bit. It's still very, very important. Don't get me wrong. But it's not going to have quite the same impact that it does on the maps that we're going to be looking at moving forward. I believe we're going to a hybrid next, uh, so yeah, we're, uh, looks like we're not going to King's Row, which is almost always the place to go, because again, I think Mary Mac is aware this is another 2-0 team, they really know what they're doing, and so they're going to take us, it looks like, to Eichenwald next. Now, Brawl is still good here, however, there is a lot of high ground, and I think that uh, DJ Alex is going to be able to find a lot more value on that D.Va, because uh, they kind of like hard locked that D.Va, they did not get off that D.Va, I think that's going to find so much more value here. So now it's going to be the, up to the post-university Eagles, especially when we move into kind of the streets of Eichenwald, that second phase, to really try to take control of that castle and that high ground and to not give it up because that's going to be where Mary Mac, I think, is going to have their most success on this map. First point, 
uh, kind of the dive compositions can work pretty decently, but it's second point where they really come alive and where they really thrive. Third point, again, kind of goes back towards that brawl composition that we're, um, you know, very, uh, very fond of here at post-university. So, um, yeah, I, I would anticipate that that's kind of what we're going to see. That's going to be Mary Max game plan. Try and last as long as they can on... Um, first point here and then once they have to back up they're gonna try and just hold on the streets of Eichenwald and we can already see some of the picks coming in oh looks like yeah it's not quite ready yeah this is not start of round yet <laughs> That means we can just take a nice look around here. Oh, DJ Alex making me happy. Locking in the wrecking ball. Oh. There we go. All right, the round has now started. Not sure if that's actually what we're going to see here. I feel like that was probably just players messing around a little bit. It's going to be post-university on the defense this time, to start. Ready and yeah, that looks a little bit more like what I was expecting to see here from... Oh, sorry, no, post-university on the attack first. Um, from... Uh, Mary Mac, because DJ Alex looks very, very competent, very, very confident on the D.Va as well. But one thing I think that Post University right now is doing is, uh, you know, they're recognizing that DJ Alex is a pretty aggressive diva. And so whenever DJ Alex kind of crosses that line from aggression into overaggression, they are punishing. Um, Pearl Skates back on the uh, Sombra, which again, I'm really, I'm really liking from them. And Sparshall on that uh, Ash. Going to be difficult to deal with. Uh, I'm going to be watching Rivera to maybe try and hit some of those icicles, see if uh, she can kind of out snipe. Sparshall. And multi Gal actually onto the Reinhardt here. JoJo's just kind of picking from behind. Hat comes in onto Vero, but she should be able to kind of deal with it pretty effectively. Pearl Skates goes down, dives in too deep. So now we can see Vera. Here comes the speed uh, onto point here as uh, Sodium level able to do that. Multi Gal finds another pick. And JoJo doing a great job keeping their team alive as well as dealing that extra damage. Which those uh, yeah, those projectiles are just so deadly. Great capture here from Post University. Uh, that's just what you're wanting to see with a, a squad like this, because as soon as some of these ultimates start coming online uh, for um, uh, for Mary Mac, it's going to get a lot more difficult. So now this is interesting. We're uh, multi got a posting up on the low ground here. Which is going to give a pretty great opportunity now for DJ Alex and the rest of Mary Mac to kind of take that high ground from them. You can see they're starting to kind of round uh, this corner just a little bit. Recognizing somebody's up top there. Pearl Skates looking for a hack. That's going to be a big anti-nade coming in from Sunday. But nobody's able to quite capitalize on it. DJ Alex really laser focused down to Rara who does find Sunday. So it remains to be seen which one of these is going to be a little bit more impactful. Vero goes down very low. Forced to use... Uh, her ice blocks, and now uh, Shiro dropping into that back line finds another kill. So this high ground definitely providing a lot of value here. As you can see, Pearl Skates, actually, I think the one from Mary Mac, who's really taking advantage of it most, to really, um, I think, recognizing this high val value. Terrera wasn't really aware of, you know, some of that damage coming in from DJ Alex up on that high ground. Vera has this blizzard, so I'm going to be looking at her to really get things go here for post-university now. So they start to push out just a little bit. Hack comes in onto Reinhardt's shield. Nice wall to push out the Sombra, but still going to be on that high ground, so that's unfortunate. Has to use the ice block to get to safety. What a self-destruct coming out from DJ Alex. And this is kind of exactly what, you know, this is exactly what this squad was playing for, right? 
They lost first point, they lost it relatively quickly. Certainly you can hold on to it there with a composition kind of like this that it looks like uh, Mary Mac really likes to use. However, it is this high ground here. It is this castle that definitely is providing them the most value right here. And we can see that now post University kind of starting to realize that they're starting to rotate to the high ground. They're going to push out on a big charge comes in. That's almost uh, DMAC there for the D.Va. A um, lot of damage coming in. The squad from Mary Mac trying to drop out here, but looks like the DMAC's going to come in. They're going to be able to take out the tank, which is fantastic. And now Multicale has Shatter ready to go. Vero tr pushing far, pretty far forward to get some kills. Multicale not quite where they need to be to follow up on those. And ooh, never turn your back on an Anna Multical. A nice recognition there from Sunday uh, to find that sleep. But now they're not going to have that sleep or that anti nade for this fight coming. We need to watch out for Pearl Skates over here who's starting to flank. Looking for maybe a pick on Torero or to Jojo. That's going to be the big one. Looking for it, but gets out of the way just in time. Multical coming in with a big shatter. Are they going to be able to capitalize on it? Is the question. Tries to boot people off. Big nano boost onto uh, DJ Alex, but able to get the DMAC now and this stranglehold that Mary Mac College kind of had on the first or on the street space is now gone. So post university able to mitigate kind of the best opportunity that Mary Mac had at holding on this map. And post university still has about four minutes left on the clock. Four minutes left to go here. Pearl Skates has got this EMP, which again, with this Bob, could be absolutely devastating. I'm going to be looking for them, uh, those two, to kind of combine uh, to find value via that. Marshall actually kind of uh, playing the low ground here. There's the EMP. Gets all five. Bob going in, but the shields are already back up. The timing was just a little bit off, and Post University just backs up. You have the Kitsune Rush coming out from JoJo. Here comes the self-destruct. Are they going to be able to survive it? Barely. No, Torero gets squished again. DJ Alex has been absolutely devastating with those. And what looked like it was really going the way of Post University is uh, the advantage is kind of gone now. But the DMAC has come in, which could be a very big boon here. We've also got a swap coming out from Mary Max. Marshall is going on uh, to the Bastion, so that's going to make multi-kill's life very, very difficult. And ooh, doesn't, uh, doesn't get hit by that sleep, so that's going to be good. Maywall comes out. Try and keep some of that damage. Torero able to get DJ Alex before they're able to remake. Huge heads up play. And now the best that Mary Mac could hope to do is try to just stall out this point as long as they can. But Post University gets everybody just about off this point. Sand Barrier coming out of spawn, but not quite quick enough to stall out the point. 233 on the clock for Post University. So they are looking great right now. They are looking primed. Uh, and ready to go here. This is an interesting look here from Post University. Mixing things up. Vero back on the uh, Torb. Haven't seen Vero on the Torb in a minute. I'm very excited about that. I really enjoy it uh, when she decides to pull out that hero. Multigal go for the uh, go for the Zarya too. And that's kind of a double-edged sword. I mean, uh, the advantage I think is definitely to Multikel kind of in this tank uh, matchup here, right? Because as soon as Multikel gets charged, uh, Multikel is going to be able to just negate kind of any of the advantage, the defense, uh, defensive advantage that you have as D.Va. The big thing though is uh, Post University is going to have to be very careful with kind of the space that they give up here, right? Um, because the Zarya doesn't necessarily have the staying power that you normally would. But again, we can already see that uh, Torreira is doing a great job holding this corner. 
that combined with like the damage coming in from multi kill onto the diva is big but oh my gosh i think that was a five orb coming out from sunday that's gonna be a big problem here vero now kind of holding this corner seeing if she can kind of keep everybody at bay what a headshot on a sunday just spamming through that corner there that might slow things down a bit that might give an opportunity for um uh for Terrera to get back into the fight the DMAC comes in as well. multi -Kill able to check down space, partial everybody else off of that DMAC. So big plays coming out from post to kind of stop what could have been an absolutely devastating push. Hey, you know, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do when a 5-orb comes your way. Uh, you know, that was, uh, that was pretty impactful, to say the least. Sodium's also back onto the Ana. Um, so... That nano boost probably going to go to Terrero. That's going to be, I think, the best bet for post university. We got a swap over the ram, kind of recognizing that the Diva matchup is just really not going to work well after that counter swap from multi cal. So I like that adjustment that we're seeing. Ooh, that's a big uh, shield as well. It's going to make it difficult for Sodium to heal uh, multi cal, but the positioning from Sodium level was great. Here comes a Kitsune rush. So now. Post University trying to back up that Discord on Orb, uh, making it difficult. Big anti nade comes out to find Pearl Skates on the back of that Gravinon Surge. And, you know, that's one of the big things I think that you need to learn as a, um, uh, as a Zarya player, as an Ana player, is you only need to get one kill in a Grav, right? And that's all they got, but it won them the fight. And that was just one ultimate expended here. Ooh, Verifying Sunday once again. That's going to delay things quite a bit. I'm anticipating things kind of opening with uh, Terrero's ultimate here. Multical just going in. Multical uh, multi says, I smell blood in the water. Time to descend. DJ Alex having a very hard time staying alive. Big damage comes in from Terrero and Vera's there right to follow up on a big focus fire coming here for Post University. Sunday's really going to need to be on it with their Transcendence if they have to kind of mitigate the ultimates coming their way. Oh, huge positioning there from Sunday, actually. Um, that's going to force Torero back quite a bit. That's going to get them a lot of space, actually. So now, yeah, we can see them kind of posting up on this high ground. Torero forced to back off uh, from that bridge. Yeah, here comes this ultimate. There's Sunday with theirs as well. That's going to be a big... Um, kind of counterplay out there and DJ Alex punishes Terrera for going just a little too aggressive trying to find value with their ultimate so now once again there's an advantage here for uh, Mary Mac and they're pushing it pretty hard especially on the back of that consuming rush Pearl Skates finds Vero and I'm not sure multi kills gonna be able to stay alive in the face of all of this damage coming in from DJ Alex DJ Alex is going down pretty low though so multi kill does find one but in the end, Mary Mac does find the point, and in the nick of time. So they got to be breathing a sigh of relief. Here is now Post University Stop. has to figure out how they wanted to uh, how they want to defend against this. Multical choosing to stay on the Zarya here, finding value with it, but it's definitely going to be a tougher matchup going up against DJ Alex's uh, Ramatra. Sparshall has Bob, once again. Uh, Pearl Skate's moving towards the high ground, looking for an opportunity here. Actually drops to see what else they can find. Nice uh, bubble there from Multigel to prevent the hack from really finding any value as Pearl Skate's trying to look for an opportunity, trying to look for a place to push in. But at this point, uh, Post University just giving a lot of ground. Gets the hack onto the high ground. Sleep goes wide from Sodium level, but their uh, Pearl Skate's really unable to kind of um, find any value off of that. Goes up to the high ground again, trying to push Terrero off, but they're holding here for the moment. They do eventually drop, trying to put a lot of pressure now onto the tank, but just too much sustain, too much HP. It does force them back, though. So now... Post University kind of has control of the point, has control of the space a little bit more, except for the high ground, which is very, very important here. And in fact, I'm looking at Sunday. Sunday has been absolutely devastating with their five orbs. And look at that. Yeah, Torero tries to duel. You cannot take Zen for granted, especially in this meta right now. Zen is very powerful. So Jojo goes down very low. 
big transcendence coming out as well, especially in the face of that Graviton Surge. Pearl Skates does find your Sodium level, and uh, Sunday just melting through players for Mary Mac. Huge gain here in terms of time, space, distance from Mary Mac at College. And now we do get the swap coming out from Multi. Regardless, if Mary Mac is able to finish, they're going to have less time than post university here. But they do still have to finish. Vision is, I think this map is the name of the game here. Shields are going to be traded. Terrero's Overclock going to be the big uh, thing to look for here. But Vera's going to have their Molten Core too, so that could be pretty big, especially since Sunday does not have um, their Transcendence. Yeah, here comes the Nano Boost as well, but Shiro and Sunday, the, de the support backline finds huge value. Big picks, big kills. Lots of ultimates expended from both squads, but in the end, it looks like uh, Mary Mac is just doing a phenomenal job coming out here at the last moment. Big multi core from Vero, though. Just enough time to get them back onto the point. Two players go down almost immediately, and what looked like it could have very quickly, very easily been a full capture from Mary Mac College is stopped at the 11th hour by some standout play here from Vero. That multi core was absolutely clutch because it, moments, moments away from capturing this point. Now Pearl Skates is in a very awkward position, right? They need to make sure they don't get detected here, but they've got a great opportunity to find a very impactful hack. They're going to be able to get multi cal initially, but oh my gosh, Torero turns and immediately guns them down. Says, you have overstayed your welcome in my backline. Now multi cal able to push up pretty quickly, pretty, uh, pretty far forward, and... Mary Mac needs to regroup because this is last fight territory now. And they've got multi kills ultimate to try to get through here. So we see they're already starting to push forward. Here comes a big ultimate out from Sunday. That's going to be huge. Hero uses theirs as well. So now that that is over, multi kills going to be free to drop their own. But so much damage coming in. Both your air and multi kill fall in the face of that Kitsune rush. You can't count that out. Are they going to be able to hold Alf onto overtime is the big question, and it doesn't look like they quite will be able to. Multical onto the Wrecking Ball, looking for a way to kind of stall things out. Here comes the big um, last second push. They do get to overtime, so now Post University is going to get an attack, but Mary Mac will not, and that might be the difference maker here. because neither squad has really been able to hold on to first point. A draw is the best case scenario here for Mary Mac, and they desperately want to find one because we are sitting at a 1-0 advantage here for Post University right now. And if they can force that draw, then they get to see an extra map and they deny Post University match point. Back onto the comfort picks. Mary Mac sticking with what they like the most. Ooh, and look at this. Vera was on the sim. I wonder, uh, let's see here. I wonder if we're going to see, no, there's no May. Okay. I was going to say, we might see the uh, TP over the building right here, but no, Torero's on the Bastion. However, that still doesn't mean we are going to see a TP. I could very easily see one coming from this door right here, uh, kind of into that back line. Actually, I think it's from this door right here, across. So let's see exactly how Post University is just going to tr try and play this. Yeah, there's the TP almost directly to point. Susan has to be used almost immediately because a lot of damage is coming in. Vero takes the full brunt of it, though. Nice. Heads up positioning here from Sparshall to get to that high ground. multi uh pushing into the background pretty aggressively. They do find one kill on Shiro. Nice fire strike to find Pearl. Big Suzu as well coming out from JoJo, but it's not going to be quite enough to win them the point now. Post University going to actually still fighting this. Sodium and JoJo looking to see if they can get that tick, but they're not quite able to. And now... Uh, Vero has pushed forward pretty aggressively here, and they might get punished for it by Sunday. In fact, 
They do. So, the gamble didn't quite pay off. I'm going to be interested to see if Post University tries to do this again uh, with the Sim or if they're going to look to something else. No, it looks like Vera's going to stick with it. Does it mean that you can't TP in once again, though? multi kill shields going down very low. They're going to really need to manage that uh, as they move in, especially considering Sunday has that um, on them. Nice fake out on the TP, but JoJo goes down before they even get to point. Turret form is out for Torero, but that defense matrix proving too much to get through. Pulse Gates goes down once again. Transcendence is forced, though, so that's a big deal. And now Post University trying to push forward. Huge shatter. Can they get the kills? They find a couple of them. That could be the difference maker. It's just going to be the self-destruct, the D.Va on point. The Suzu was tremendous from JoJo because the shield wasn't quite where it needed to be. Sand Barrier comes in, but DJ Alex is already demeched. Post-University cleaning up on point. Nobody going to be able to get back. And what an exciting second map. And again, Post-University edges out Mary Mac and is now on match point. Dare I say, best Suzu I have seen yet from JoJo. Absolutely phenomenal. I think JoJo single-handedly saved that map for Post University. So, enormous, enormous play right there. DJ Alex has to be very disappointed that that uh, self-destructed land, because Multical was doing a good job. Multical uh, is shielded up, but I don't think it was in the right place to... Uh, to keep that bomb from picking off a lot of the members of Post University. So we're going to throw it to break. It remains to see, be seen whether or not it's a short or long one. Post University likes to just run them. So we'll see. It might be a five-minute break. It might not. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon.
Hello everybody and welcome back to the stream. We did get the five minute break there, so we are back at it. Currently Post University on match point against Marymount College who uh, has shown some fierce determination in the face of honestly some phenomenal play from uh, Post. Post. Post has just barely clutched out uh, these wins over the last couple of maps. So now we head to Circuit Royale, something completely different. Again, I like this pick from Mary Mac College. I've really enjoyed their gameplay tremendously here uh, today. And I feel like this is the hardest that, for sure, that post has been pushed so far this season. These maps could have definitely gone either way. It has honestly come down to just individual plays and individual moments that have been the difference maker for each of these squads. So as we move to Circuit Royale, it's going to be, uh, post is going to be the name of the game here. And we can already see as we uh, load into the game that Multikel has decided, has opted for the Sigma. DJ Alex sticking with the uh, D.Va here. So this will be uh, kind of the game plan for DJ Alex is going to be to close that distance somehow, right? And put pressure either on the DPS or the back line and kind of prevent multi at the same time from getting uh, too far forward. Nice job not charging multi shield right there. multi now trying to prevent the healing from coming onto DJ, but unable to do so. Big rock coming in. The hack from the high ground now causes a little bit of problems, but here we go. DJ has kind of closed this difference onto multi and you can see multi having a little bit of difficulty. Forced to use their grass to kind of keep them uh, up. That's going to be a nice rock onto Pearl Skates. Doesn't quite get the kill here, but now DJ Alex having to back up. This was kind of the golden opportunity for... Um, uh, Mary Mac to get some kills here. As you can see, during that rotation, as they were backing up, they lose partial. Uh, a lot of damage came in, and there was just enough focus fire there from Post University to get that pick, get that care. Vero finds Pearl Skates as well. Uh, Vero's aim has just been on uh, tonight as well. And so now it's not really going to be a possibility for Mary Mac to hold this point here. We might see Diva drop at the last moment, but I'm anticipating they're just going to give this up and go for a defense kind of on this high ground because this is one of the most difficult spots here really to get anything uh, going on attack. Yeah, we can see big dive in. Sunday has, it, it's Sunday bloody Sunday, my lord. They have just been phenomenal on this end. Yada. Yeah, you can see those five orbs going in and causing a lot of problems here for Post University. They're pushing pretty aggro because they have the transcendence. I'm anticipating it potentially coming up with a big push here as they know there's an opportunity here to get some value. Ooh, yeah, the transcendence is going to be first out as JoJo goes down. DJ Alex finds a pick as well. Oh, but it's coming out of it right when Multikel gets their Gravitic Flux. Laser focus onto that support line. Sodium finds another. DJ Alex forced to use their self-destruct and they're not able to get anything for it. So what a turnaround there from Post University. That was going all the right ways there for um, Mary Mac, but a massive Gravitic Flux from Multikill turns it around. So now JoJo is going to have this Kitsune Rush and I'm anticipating it being used early here once again, kind of as soon as this corner gets turned. Yeah, and I like this positioning as well. This is kind of the lane that I think you want that to happen on. Going to go ahead and back up as Multical already found Sunday, who has been honestly one of the biggest um, problems, I think, for Post University. And that's going to go ahead and buy them the point. That one pick in particular is going to get them the point, especially now that DJ Alex has been demecked as well. Uh, there's just no, um, just no way for... Uh, Mary Mac College to really find a safe spot because Multikel absolutely understands their job is Sigma and it's just a push to kind of keep that nice distance and then push as hard as they can. And Sodium Level says, you know what, uh, Sunday is not the only Zen in town. Finds two picks in a row. Jerem might need to watch out to their right or behind them. Sounds like there's somebody there. Yeah, we can see the um, ooh, big Rocket comes out, Sodium Level finishes Marshall off again, and Post University is not giving Mary Mac any opportunity to regroup here, and now we're looking at the final turn on Circuit Royale. Mary Mac thought that maybe Post University would look here, weak here, but what a rush visor. That's just going to absolutely devastate the squad. 
everybody on Merrimack with just very little health. Shiru trying desperately to find something. Sunday does get a big pick right there. Bob is going to be able to kind of stall out the point for a second. Nice. Huge Gravitic Flux Terrero, the Focus Fire in the air despite the self-destruct coming in. And now DJ Alex on to the Ramatra to try and get something going. Does punish an over-aggressive Terrero. Here comes Sodium Level in with the Transcendence. Bob to just get that little bit of extra security in 3.51 on the clock for post. I was going to say, Merrimack was looking a lot stronger as these matches were going on, and it felt like they were causing more problems to Post. Um, but Post just flipped the script right here completely on Circuit Royale. What a phenomenal push. That cart, I think that the only time the cart really stopped from first point was when everybody from Post University stepped off it. Right, and JoJo had to go back and just make sure Cart was still pushing. Multical going for the ram here. This is interesting. This is not exactly the composition that I was expecting to come out here. I figure, you know, it's it's, it's Sig, Sig and Circuit Royale are almost synonymous, right? Um, and especially on defense. But all this means is that it's just going to look a little different, right? You still have the potential to poke with Ramatra, but you do get that extra brawl potential as well. Oh, and I think I see what's happening here. Post University is trying for a very early hold. That's what we're looking at. Yeah, I'm thinking here everybody pushing forward. Gonna start with those five orbs. Here we go, Terrero pushing out now, looking to see if they can just gun somebody down on the back line. Ooh, they might have pushed out a little too far. They're able to get one, uh, but no, multi kill there, trying to keep them up. But yeah, Terrero does push too far. Sodium level finds another one. Vero gets a third, and now it's just gonna be Sparshall left up top, but. The big thing is, Multikel is out of this fight, so I don't think that Post University can really hold this corner anymore, right? Multikel is just now respawning, and look at this, DJ Alex is already out of spawn. In addition, Pearl Skates has gone over to Reaper, so yeah, this, this first corner was basically bought um, by just simply picking off Multikel. And really, the only reason Post University still gets the second corner is because they were able to win that fight. So, again, despite winning that fight, a lot of ground was given up here. Sodium level uh, looking to take this high ground, take something out. But Pearl Skates is going to punish Terrero. Shiru goes down. Vero unable to kind of stay on that high ground like they wanted to. And now, uh, Sodium level pushed pretty far forward, has to back up before they find themselves in too much trouble. Nice headshot there. You can hear the dink on somebody in the back line. Ooh, DJ Alex going down very low. Great focus fire there from Post University. Need to watch that Reaper, though, who has just kind of teleported to the high ground. multi -goal gets another one, and ooh. Yeah, Zen has found themselves in an unfortunate predicament and situation is going to be sent back to spawn. So, a lot of ground regained here for Post University. As TP to that high ground. JoJo, once again, has the Kitsune Rush ready to go. That combined with Ramacha's ultimate could be an absolutely devastating state of affairs. Shield is already out. Oh, here comes the Transcendence as well. Post University wants to hold on to their ultimates as long as they can. But DJ uh, Alex finds Terrero. So now, yeah, they use everything to just kind of push forward. They're going to have to keep an eye on that Reaper in the back line. JoJo doing everything they can to keep their tank alive. But DJ Alex looks like their ultimate was going to be a little bit stronger as they were able to wait for just a second to use their ultimate. And a lot of times, whichever team uses their ultimate second is going to be the team that's able to get the win. multi -Kel staying alive, though, far longer than they have any right to. And in fact, almost looks like they're going to get another pick. But yeah, those uh, shields aren't going to hold up quite as well as they needed to. Sodium and Bastion, or Terrero rather, tried to push in. And they're, once again, going to be forced to back up a little bit. As Shiro does punish Terrero for kind of that over-aggression there. So now... Post University needs to just wholesale back up or die here. And I think they honestly probably want to give up the point because, again, they're going to have this high ground position, which is going to be so good to defend from. 
Multikill's actually gonna drop. Looks like they're gonna try and stall out the point here, see if maybe they can win this uh, right off the uh, first point, but no. Sodium is already down. Both supports, as a matter of fact, are gone. And unfortunately, Vero has used their ultimate, so they're not gonna have that uh, here to go for the next fight, but it does four outs out Pearl Skates. That Death Blossom, that's not a bad trade. That's not a bad trade at all. But now a, a reprieve has been granted to Mary Mac College. Sparshall's ultimate here could be, uh, is definitely going to be the one to watch out for. Vero has swapped over to May, which uh, I think is a good play here. But what that also means is that uh, Post University is fighting a 4v5 right now. Make it a 4v4 as Multikel is able to get out the Zen. Once again, Sunday definitely been a player uh, to find a lot of value to watch out for. No supports left, actually, for Mary Mac College. Uh, so Post University able to retake control of this card, uh, despite Vero being, uh, for the most part, out of that fight. And Terraria was able to hold on to their ultimate, too. They were able to win that in the neutral. I think we're going to see an uh, early Kitsune rush again, which Terraria needs to be aware of. Their positioning when they use their ultimate, I think, is going to be of utmost importance, especially if they use it before the Kitsune Rush, because they use that to try and find Terraria. But yeah, it doesn't come in, so now, is there going to be... Yeah, it looks like Fuzzy Adversity just says, you know what, we're going to use our ultimate. Sunday drops back, though, with the Transcendence. Great timing right there. Here comes the Kitsune Rush now, as Multikel wasn't able to get value from it. Pro Skate's coming in, trying to see if they can fight something happen in the back line. Big sound break coming out from Sodium to prevent any kind of shenanigans from Sparshall. But now DJ Alex might be able to outlast that um, sound barrier. And in fact, they're able to get a pick on the multi kill. Vero uses the wall to try to back up. JoJo comes in as well with the Katune Rush to see if they can turn things around. Sodium level does find one, but Pearl Skates takes out Terrero. And it looks like it was going to be a little too little too late there. Vero throws out the Blizzard as well to try to make something happen, but. Oof, that was an overcommit there from Post University, so Merrimack College has to be very, very happy about that. Post University looks like they're just getting a little too eager, a little too aggressive here. And Multikel, I don't think, is even going to make this out of here live. JoJo, at the last moment, able to use their Zuzu. And now we are going to get a last moment contest here, but it's not going to be a full five for Post University. They are holding on to the point. Wall comes out, but Terrero goes down. Multikel trying to push against the enemy tank, but taking so much damage from multiple different directions, unable to hold on for the end there. Two minutes put on the clock, as once again we get into the last part of this map. And ooh, now we're talking about an overcommit from um, Merrimack. That Death Blossom uh, would have been very, very valuable moving into this last little bit, because again, they have to capture if they are staying in this map if they are staying in this entire match they have to capture here so multi kel now onto the Zarya this time Vero still on the May Ooh, Reaper coming in on an off angle trying to put some pressure on a Vero. Vero goes down very low has to use their ice block almost immediately so that's a lot of utility that's kind of gone for this last little bit uh, Sodium has actually uh, swapped support heroes as well so that turret going to be providing a lot of kind of heal and Sodium Level gets the pick on the Sparshall. Multikel has a nice beam here. Here comes the Transcendence to try and keep them up. Pearl Skates does find Multikel. Minute left to go here. And if the capture does happen, there's no preventing the car from moving. There's no, um, you know, uh, tie situation possible. So at the last moment, it looks like... Just enough was found here by Merrimack College to get a capture. They just have the staggers left to go here. But yeah, one minute, put it on the clock. I think the story there was Merrimack really kind of punished the um, kind of greedy play coming out of Post University there. 
Uh, Post University, I think, had several opportunities to just kind of play a little bit more passively, take a little bit more time to regroup, and instead chose to kind of double down into these fights that, you know, weren't necessarily, were probably already lost. They weren't necessarily completely lost, but it was going to take a miracle play, right, in order to, and possibly even some mistakes from Mary Mac to get them back into these fights. So a little bit of greedy play and Mary Mac recognizing that led to that point capture. So kudos to Mary Mac. Very big heads up play from them. And now we got multi kelp back on the SIG. And Torero opting for the Reaper this time around. I'm going to keep my eye on Vero here to start out. Because she's going to be the person, honestly, that Multikill I think is going to be enabling the most by being on Sigma. Ooh, nice headshot there. Ooh, Senyata from the side there. Really putting in a lot of damage. Nice Suzu coming out from Jojo. Gets rid of that Discord Orb. So now multi -Cal forced to back up, though, because DJ Alex definitely going to have more brawling potential here. Pearl Skates tries to get um, Vero off of that high ground, but unable to. And Vero actually holding on to it pretty heavily. Yeah, Reaper coming back up to try and push her off. And now Vera caught in kind of a difficult position, but Torero comes up to help him. And in the meantime, Sodium Level finds one. Ooh, Pearl Skates does get Vero, but is punished and picked in the end for that aggression. So, Merrimack College forced to back up. 10 seconds left to go here, so they have to touch. Post University has to be feeling pretty happy about where this card is. Rocket to be blocked. Nice shield there from Merrimack. Sunday putting a lot of damage into multi -Cal, but Torero does find DJ Alex. That's huge. Torero does go down. multi -Cal desperately trying to hold on to this point here, but Sparshall doing a good job, putting in a lot of pressure. Pearl Skates has the high grind now and finds another pick. As Torero is down, Vero is back into the mix now, throws in some dynamite. Oh, big ultimate coming out from Sodium. Are they going to be able to capitalize on it? Are they going to be able to get the kills that they need? Here comes a big Katsune rush. Sodium level able to find one. Uh, but multi kill goes down very low. Sunday does finish them off in the end. So this is a nice overtime push. But they have to stay alive. And Post University has several picks on the board now. But key, DJ Alex is still up. Sparshall as well as Pearl Skates is back. So the DPS is here, but they have no support. That's still on its way back. The sodium level trying to push pretty aggressively here. Torero looking for something from the side. Vero finds one. Torero looking for a pick now, but can't overcommit to this. That's going to be a big Ravidic Flux. If they're able to catch somebody in it, they get a couple of them. Are they going to be able to do enough damage to put them on the ground? Sunday with another big five orb takes out the Reaper. Bob going to be committed to point. And at the last moment gets the pick. But look at that. Sunday, 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 you were insane on Zen. You're an absolute menace, and you must be thriving in this meta right now. So, 4 minutes, 18 seconds for Post University to get the cart to the statue. Got around two corners here in four minutes. Merrimack has shown some tremendous grit and determination over the course of this entire match. So this is not going to be an easy task for Post. Their attacks, though, have looked very, very good. But you cannot count Mary Mac out of this yet by any stretch of the imagination. Especially when they got Sunday in the back line. Sunday is the kind of zen that makes your games easy and makes your opponents rage quit the game. DJ Alex has opted for the Ramatra. They found the most success against, I think, this entire post university squad with that hero. Multi kill back on the SIG. Already a lot of uh, util kind of expended here. Uh, Sunday pushing pretty aggressively. That might be punishable. This Reaper kind of towards the back line could be a big deal. 
Uh, Sparkle does find Terrera. Sodium level goes down. Yeah, pushed a little too far forward. So, Close University going to have to back up. And that's one fight out of many that Mary Mac is going to need to win. Ooh, Terrero going over to the uh, Hanzo now. Ooh, Suzu is out from Shiro. So Post University, they want to try and kind of capitalize on this time that they've got without that, you know, very, very important, very devastating ability. Terrero's already used the Storm Arrow, so can't really use those to punch his DJ Alex, but they're planking them here and there. They do get the kill. Sparkle finds another one. Somebody's going to need to knock Sparkle off that high ground because they're really holding on to it well and punishing kind of anybody who's not behind a shield or near um, uh, near just natural cover. Ooh, Sodium level definitely playing with fire there. It's going to hold on to this high ground. Sees Pearl Skates trying to get up towards them, but really pushes back hard against them. And now, yeah, Mary Mac going to have to hold on at this last moment. They're going to have to do it while waiting for the tank to get back in. Big! Gravitic Flux, is that going to be enough to keep them all off point? They do find Shiro. A couple of people find their way back to the point, and now DJ Alex actually pushing pretty far forward. A little too far as their backline is getting destroyed by the rest of Post University. DJ Alex finds another one. They hold on, chat. They hold on. What hero plays coming out from DJ Alex right then and there. Post University had it in their grasp. And it was wrenched away from them at the last moment. But now, three ultimates online here. Torero can use that um, Dragon Strike to clear the point. Vero can throw in Bob. There's a lot of things that can happen here. Here comes that Dragon Strike. Torero takes a lot of damage on the way in. They're able to get one, though, as Sunday has to use their Transcendence. Look for Bob. Yep, Bob is already on the field. Peppering from the back line. Oh no, goes off the map instead. DJ Alex taking a lot of damage, but they're going to be able to use their ultimate to try and turn things around here. But Sodium Level has a transcendence. DJ Alex going down low. That could be it. Without the tank left on the map, it's just a couple of players left from Mary Mac College at Post University takes a 3-0 win to improve their season record to 3-0. The only team remaining with that spotless performance. But they had to fight for every single inch that they took from Merrimack College here today. Unbelievable gameplay all the way around from both squads. Um, love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. So congratulations to Post University. Improving to that 3-0 record. And... Um, a great play by Mary Mac. I mean, this was a 3-0. Uh, this was a 3-0 score. But honestly, Mary Mac, it deserved. I think you know this could have easily been 2-3, 3-2. This could have easily gone either way. So uh, love to see it. We're gonna try something new here. We're gonna throw it to a break. I want to see if I could get an interview actually with one of the members of Post University. So don't go anywhere. Stick with us here. Um, and in just a couple of minutes, I'm gonna try to have uh, either one of the players or the coach come in to just chat a little bit with me. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We have the Coach Frosty in here tonight. Uh, thank you so much for dropping in, and first off, congratulations on a fantastic win here uh, over Mary Mac to keep a 3-0 record in the spring split. Thank you, Jungle. Uh, it was a really good match. The players played really well, and I'm excited to chat a little bit about it. Yeah, same. Um, so you and I, we had actually, we, we chatted a little bit uh, just over the weekend about like oh, a lot did. of the progress that like this post university squad has made um just over the course of like uh, the last couple of years honestly and i wanted to get your opinion on like how do you feel just in general in this like spring split versus this fall split because i think we saw we see like kind of a lot of moving pieces right like vero going over to dps from support right and kind of getting used to that role and this squad in particular made it very very close if i remember correctly to making playoffs but just not quite getting there in the end correct me if i'm wrong on that but looking at this season so far at least this spring split you all are perfect like you have not dropped a map yet so talk to me about some of those differences you know what do you think has made the difference between now and then and yeah what what you're just most excited about um i think what made the biggest difference was our team got off to a really good start all our players gelled really well into their new roles our new roster all gelled really well together and we we're really able to work well and communicate well as a team um, that was a really big difference in tonight and the past couple matches where our communication was there. Um, we had a plan going into every, every fight we took and we just executed it. Uh, yeah, you, that's definitely something I have noticed and commented on a few times on stream as well. It's just the fact that you all are playing as a unit. You are playing as a team. And one thing as well that I really like is there is some flexibility, right? I think the DPS role naturally going to be the most, you know, the one that kind of demands the most flexibility from its players. And I feel like uh, each of your, each, both of your DPS players have a really good hero pool. So how do you feel about just kind of like the team's flexibility in general? And do you think that has also helped contribute to kind of some of the success this spring? I think we're very, uh, very flexible and it definitely has helped a lot, especially in finding team comps to play. Because uh, if something that I plan in my head doesn't work, then there's always <laughs> another alternate um, alternative that uh, that works really well and my players can play. Yeah, they definitely can. One of one of the big swaps that I saw tonight that I really enjoyed was uh, watching Multikel um, go over to the Zarya, right? You know, just seeing that DJ Alex was so strong on the D.Va and was really kind of bent and determined to stay on the D.Va, right? Um, but he was, pulling off that he Zarya, really he was a really good D.Va player, <laughs> yeah. Uh, pulling out that Zarya definitely made things more difficult for him, I feel like, in that regard. So is that a hero that we can expect to see more of Multikel, or do you think this was more just kind of a niche situational pick that worked out really well for the team? Well, knowing Cal, he really likes playing Zarya. Mm -hmm. So uh, ah. <laughs> if, the, if there's a spot for it in the future, then uh, we will for sure bring it up. But tonight, it was more uh, he was just able to fight the D.Va more easily with it. And then uh, even the threat of the Zarya in the third map made the, the other tank stay on uh, Matra. Yeah, that worked really well. Yeah, that did work really in our well. Favor. Yes, uh, for sure. Now, this, I feel like, was definitely the hardest that you all have been pushed so far this spring. Uh, Mary Mac College put up a phenomenal fight, and <clears throat> while Post University came out of it with a 3-0 win, um, it was tough, right? Uh, we got to see around, what, like, uh, we got to see rounds three and four on both of the payload maps. Um, so what do you think was kind of the biggest adjustment that Post had to make to kind of secure these wins? Or what do you think it was that kind of gave them the edge tonight over Marymount College? Um, I think uh, I think what led us to those three and four uh, maps were more of our our mistakes. We got a little disorganized <laughs> on our recontests on defense, and uh, definitely something we're gonna work on in the future. Um, yeah. which caused us to stagger a little through second and third points. Um, right, but. I noticed that when we're on attack that our team communicates really well together and we're able to stay organized and control the tempo of the game a lot better. Yeah, you all look uh, pretty pretty nigh unstoppable on attack like every match that I've seen so far. Um, oh, we've, we've put up some good times. Yeah, yeah, you really have. I think it was like 450 or something today on, what was the second map? I think 
I think it was 410 after the time balance on uh, yes. Super Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 410 after the time balance. Um, and, and it was 418. on Eichenwald. Was it 330? Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, both just tremendous showings. So we've seen um, we've seen a couple different compositions. Um, and one thing we haven't seen really yet from Post University is, is you all be forced to a dive composition. Now, I don't want you to give necessarily too much away. So if you don't answer this, that's just fine. But do you feel confident that if and when post the Eagles need to move to a dive composition, they have something that's going to fill that need and work in that situation? Because your brawl is phenomenal, your poke is phenomenal, but I haven't really seen that kind of, you know, the third, that third wheel yet. Right. Um, if the situation comes, I believe that all of our players can fit into the dive roll. And our communication as a team is good enough to uh, play it. Right. Uh, we just haven't seen the situation. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Well, um, I've just got one more question for you, uh, Frosty, and that's uh, if you'd like to give any shout outs to friends, family, teammates, whoever you'd like. I would just like to congratulate my team on an, an awesome night and a great start to the season. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Frosty. Uh, appreciate you dropping in for the interview. Uh, thank you as well, everybody else who has tuned in tonight. That's going to be it for the stream. So thank you so much, GGs, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Struggle.